In this uh, video, we'll look at preparing the QR code reader module for installation. You'll need all these items. You'll need a scissors or something to cut wires with. You'll need the module itself and the attached um, four wire, uh, four wires, whatever you call that. You'll need the the um, printed enclosure for the module. Four of these uh, small screws, a pair of pliers, four, I like kind of brightly colored, um, jumper wires. They can be male to male like this one or male to female. The important thing is that they have a male end on one of them. And I would just say choose whatever you have the most of and uh, use those. Because what we're going to do is we're going to cut one end off the non-male end. We're going to cut that free. And then we need uh, four of these little uh, connectors here. And just for good measure, I throw in a fifth one in case I screw up. Also need some tape, some masking tape, just to join things together at the end so they're more manageable. And let's see, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start with this out. We're going to start with our module, and it probably came to you without this plugged in, this little connector here. And we're going to uh, take it out for now. You're going to probably start with it out. Just remember that the red wire here goes to the inside. And I believe it will prevent you from putting it in any other way. But it's important that the, all the wires are basically on the left side of this connector when it goes back in. So the issue with these wires is they're so small. And they're, they do have the tips of the wires exposed, but they're so tiny that they're a little hard to work with. They're also a little short for the distance they have to reach. So we're going to uh, take advantage of the fact we have a bunch of these other wires here. And we're just going to join these wires to these wires. And we're going to write down. We don't actually have to write down at this stage because we can just look when the time comes. But um, we're, um, we're going to join these to the ends of these wires using these little uh, connect crimp connectors here. And they're pretty straightforward to use, uh, but we'll take a look and see. First thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to tear each one of these apart so it's separate. And then since I have male to male here, I'm just going to cut off either one of the male ends. Give myself as much wire as possible, so I'll cut it off close to one of the ends. Okay, and we no longer need those things. Those can be thrown away. We're also going to uh, just trim off the tips of these guys. Because the, these wire connectors are going to do the job of joining them electrically. We don't need the exposed end. So I'm going to try and cut them all off at about the same point here. Not critical. And we can push that away. Now if I can, which I can't always, for the most part I'm going to try and join colors together. I may get lucky on a couple of these, the red and the green, but the other ones I don't happen to have chosen the color for those. Doesn't matter, we're just, just joining wire to wire. So I'll start with the two reds. And I'm going to take this little connector here and it has two little ports on the bottom that you can slide these into. And I like to turn it over just to make sure that, that uh, the wires have gone in as far as I can push them. I can see them all the way through to the other side. And then I'm going to hold them and 
hold them pushed in and I'll take pliers here and I'm just going to crimp down the little uh, yellow top on it. Try to just do it complete and flat. Don't let the wires come out in the process. So I've uh, crushed, crushed it down until that yellow cap is flat with everything else. And now I have a pretty good connection of the two wires to each other. And I'll just repeat that with every other pair of wires, including ones that don't match in color. And we'll see where we come out in the end. Start with the double greens. All right, and this, they have oil inside them to create a moisture-proof barrier. So you may see a little oil come out on your fingers in the process. And now what I want to do is I'm just going to Let's see if we can separate these better. Sticking through each other. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit of uh, masking tape on about here just to hold these smaller wires together. Off, tear off a few pieces here so they're ready for me. will also make it easier to uh, push all the wires together when we do the assembly. So I'm going to give myself a little bit of freedom down at this end, even though these are all going pretty close to each other into the terminal block. I suppose if you could do this without separating the wires in the first place, these jumper wires, more power to you. I think what I want to do here is I think I'll leave it just like this for now. Um, in a second, we'll work these wires through the enclosure. Don't, don't need this anymore. Or this. All right, so now let's uh, reattach this uh, terminal end to the module going in this hole over here and remember the red is on the left so we'll push that back in then we'll take the bottom part of this enclosure or the face of the enclosure and we'll start by 
this thing has has a neck on it here and the neck has an opening that goes all the way through it. We're going to slide these ends of the jumper wires through that opening and out the other side. Okay, and the same with our connectors. Get to flatten them a little bit here. Push them through. You don't want to put too much um, tension on the wires themselves. So go ahead and push on the connector rather than pull on the connector. And we'll just set the uh, the QR code reader has these little uh, extensions on, and we'll just put those right on top of these posts. And you'll see that the, the face of the QR code reader here has, um, it'll fit in tighter here on this side, has a little part that extends outward from it, and that should fit right into this opening. We'll certainly do that once we get the screws tightened up. We take the back of the module enclosure and put it on top, push it down, turn it over, and insert our screws into these openings. Okay. Repeat that with all the screws, all four of them. All four are in and tight, and we're ready to install this in the step where we do the add install.